Source 6 days ago updated 5 days ago today it is fair to say that Yemen is one of the worst places on earth to be a child, said Geert Kapelier, UNICEF's regional director for the Middle East and North Africa. Two million children today in Yemen suffer acute malnutrition and almost every single Yemeni boy and girl is in acute need of humanitarian assistance, he told a press conference in Jordan's capital Amman. Today we estimate that every 10 minutes a child in Yemen is dying from preventable diseases. Related reading UN officials have warned that Yemen could face the world's largest famine in decades unless a crippling blockade by a satiled coalition battling heavy rebels is lifted. The blockade, put in place after Saudi forces intercepted a missile fired by heavy forces at Riyadh's international airport early this month, has further tightened the coalition's stranglehold on the rebel-held port of Hodeidah, the main conduit for unsupervised deliveries of food and medicine. The UN plane carrying desperately needed vaccines landed in the rebel-held Yemeni capital Sana'a on Saturday after coalition forces partly lifted the blockade, after warnings that thousands of people could die. But UN officials have said desperately needed shipments of food and medicines to Hodi to remain blocked. Kapalir welcomed the reopening of Sana'a airport but said much more aid was needed. The war in Yemen is sadly a war on children, Kapalir said, adding that close to 5,000 children had been killed or seriously injured since the start of a satiled campaign in support of the government in March 2015. Thousands of schools and health facilities have been damaged or completely destroyed, he said, calling for all parties in Yemen to take responsibility for the situation there. The coalition intervened to prop up Yemen's government after the Iran-backed Havis drove it from Sana'a. The devastating war has since killed some 8,600 people, while a further 2,000 have died of cholera. Yemen is highly dependent on imported wheat for its basic needs, and aid groups have warned that humanitarian deliveries cover only a small portion of what is required.